What up, y'all? You already know what time it is. Hit that like, subscribe, and post notification bell for me. Whoa, post Arizona trip. So, <laughs> there's a lot to unpack, uh, but I will start with the fact that I brought home close to 15 pounds of water from the Mojave Desert. Now, I don't mean in my carry on, I mean in my body on. It was crazy. I, uh, there were some things I didn't expect, some, some stuff I didn't look for. Now, I did know, I had an idea that you could retain a bit of water um, after a long flight, and especially going to a place with significantly higher elevation. Now, where I'm from, the elevation here is about 75 feet. That's pretty dang low. That's pretty close to sea level. Where we went uh, at Fort Mojave and Bullhead City area um, is at 4,100 feet. Now, what I also did not know and did not understand, plan, or anticipate for is that you, a person, uh, is more likely to hold substantial amounts or retain substantial amounts of water while after a flight going to higher elevation than typically accustomed to and engaging in intense rigorous exercise. Now, mind you, I did not miss a beat when it came to training. I had the gym mapped out. I knew that the hotel we were staying at had a fitness center and that's where I did my first round of cardio which lasted about an hour and 25 minutes. Um, because I had some catching up to do from morning cardio. So I hit it hard right off the plane. Uh, I'd say within, I don't know. Actually, no, that's not true. The next day I had a full cardio day and I hit it really hard right off the plane. Uh, that night, I'd already gotten both cardio sessions done that day on Monday, so I was good. Tuesday, I got all cardio. At any rate, I did not know that what I was doing was causing my body to retain every single drop of fluid pretty much that I was taking in. Now there were some setbacks with nutrition. I did plan ahead and I had my protein, my planta from Ambrosia, Ambrosia Collective shipped ahead of time. So I had that on deck. I, I packed some jerky snacks, some high protein, low fat, uh, or yeah, high protein, moderate fat, low carb snacks. I also had some protein bars. Anticipated having a microwave in the room, not an option. So that put a big monkey wrench into it. Another thing I didn't really want to do is I didn't want to impose on the in-laws and, uh, and they hijacked their kitchen with all my crazy food prep stuff. So I kind of had to eat on the fly. I got to say, I indulged a little bit. But again, nailed all my nutri nailed all my training, stayed solid with that. So I felt relatively good. You know, I, I could tell that I packed on a little bit of water, but I wasn't really tripping on getting any fat over the course of three or four days because my, my training was on point and I was up at the same time every day getting it done. Came back, and boy was I in for a surprise. <laughs> so just to give you an idea of what it was like, I've lost 11 and a half pounds of water since Friday morning. That's wild. That's wild. Abs are back. I got A. Hey, I tell you, I was panicking a little bit. I had like the, the dimples and indentations in my legs, and my feet were kind of jiggly, and you know, my face was starting to swell up a little bit, and I was a little scared. But I knew, stick to the plan. You got a process and it works. It's been working for months. So that's what we did. Anyway, I'll update you more about my trip to Arizona. We did dune buggies. We did cookouts. We did boat rides. We did walks. We did Vegas for about four or five hours. Vegas is cool. Nice place to visit. Wouldn't want to live there. Not sure about going back to Vegas. Maybe I'll have a different experience if I'm going there to do other stuff. Um, but I don't drink and I don't gamble. What else is there to do in Vegas? I guess maybe watch fights and tell uh, showgirls on the strip. No, I do not want a picture. <laughs> anyway, they're out there getting their money. Got to respect their hustle. Um, all in all, it was a great trip. I loved it. Had a blast. The weather was beautiful. There was a slight breeze. Kind of reminded me of home. And uh, yeah, the, the in-laws were great. And they, they went out of their way to fully accommodate us and, and fed us really well. And Everything was just awesome, man. I couldn't ask for a better time. The weather was beautiful. Everything, it was great. Anyway, just a quick update on my trip. I'm back home now, and it's time to hurt some feelings. Peace, y'all. <laughs>